What up, folks? It's DK back again with Forsaken here, a custom campaign. Um, let's get started on the second one, No Way Out. There is no turning back now anymore. You lead the enemy in this darkened area. Executor, the Protoss who have assisted us in our mission are seeking our audience. Remain cautious, for these highborn Templars still hold a lack of certainty for our beliefs. Ah, the rogues had the courage to adhere to my invite. I'm surprised your people didn't sheathe themselves in cloaks and drop off of the face of this quadrant. I'd rather be alone than listen to this bickering. Is all you call us here for us to gawk at our presence? That was a weird sentence. No, I called you here because as much as I despise your ilk, I'm still able to come to terms with times when I'm at no other alternative. We've been separated with our fleet and the area here is too foreign for my brother and I to make any sense of. You ask for an alliance? What good would our help with this matter benefit either of us in the long term? Benefits? Weird spelling? I'm proposing that we have a truce. These Zerg are likely to return in the near future and your ships are too bent out of shape to cast off away from this platform. You, Dark Templar, have abnormal knowledge about these spacious quadrants of the sector, so I imagine that you would be also smart enough to know a good agreement when you see one. Tick, tock, spine, shot. Say what? <laughs> Throwing shades? Find passage off of the ruined space platform. Is there a survive so we don't get to control the Pegasus this mission? Alright, we'll start with 50 minerals, like you would in a strange. This platform seems to have been devastated, but the destruction doesn't appear to have been Zerg made. Not even a meteor shower would be so much as capable of this. So yeah, um, so this is the objective. 50 minerals starting just like you would in a ladder game or a normal map like a melee mode whatever you want to call it to emphasize the the macro portion of the game I guess although we do start with some uh, like a formidable amount of ground units in our arsenal not many mineral fields here and then gas is whatever and we can actually take this area here which, uh, they have a overlord there. Once we get the uh, Dragoon sight range up here, singularity charge, right? Yep, develop singularity charge. And we have a shield battery this time. I wanted to get one in the previous map, but I kind of forgot. And Zero 2 is a badass anyway. So, what's what's the hack here? It's solo the. Something calling here, or maybe not. All right, that's. I thought there was only one uh, something calling. So. In a way, this map kind of reminds me of that uh, fourth mission in the original Protoss campaign, where out there is, has to like find uh, Zer uh, Tassadar and Jim Rayner, right? So yeah. Alright, let's get our shield here. It looks like three probes should be enough for this assimilator. Uh, you know, just, you know what, what this reminds me of, guys? When I see a zealot with six, like, low shield points, it reminds me of the very old version of StarCraft when zealots had 80 shield and 80 HP. But yeah, at one point that got changed. 
it's kind of similar to how um, I think um, sunken colonies have 400 health instead of 300 that we see now. Okay, good. Let's get the upgrade on the weapon. And get a Dragoon. It's actually good that we start with these uh, buildings, so I don't need to pre build stuff. Can already tech up to Fleet Beacon, which is peculiar. Can also start attacking here and just explore a bit. Uh, okay, let's pull them out. We encountered the wrath of the Zerg. Alright, let's get back a bit. Let's get Singularity. Let's kill the brown Zerg unit if possible. Alright, we lost a lot of units, but... It is what it is. So yeah, right now it's Sunday. Right now I'm recording this and my Saturday, which was yesterday for me, the day when literally I worked full eight, nine hours, got back home and then slept for three hours and it's already like 10 p.m. It's kind of crazy to think about it. And that's just how my weekend is going to be for the next uh, two months after tax season is over. So there's that. Let's get a robo facility. I want to get a. I can get Reavers, it looks like. Reavers would be pretty good. I can't get level 2 weapon and armor upgrade. We'll see if we can get level 2 shield. I'll have to wait a bit. And I can't build observers. Okay, that's fine. We'll just keep producing units. Yeah, I think I'm oversaturated here. There's not too many mineral fields I can work with, so I, I'm not gonna build too many probes. Let's try to save this cell here. We're doing okay. I, I kind of want to... Oh, no shuttle though. That, that makes things a bit different. I want to get shield upgrade. Although, I don't recommend getting shield upgrade. If this was actually a ladder game, but I'm playing against the AI, so I can't afford to get. And then we'll see if we can get level 2 or 3 plasma shield. Because you only need a cybernetic score to get level 2 or 3 uh, proton shield, as opposed to weapon and armor. You need temporal archives for those. You know, I, I should probably build a Citadel of Doom then for leg speed. Yes, indeed. And I will miss that. Ooh, this is a flank. I welcome this. It's a good change. Very good. You know, I was wondering because like we have this empty space there. I was kind of hoping the AI would attack from behind and, and it actually did. I don't know if that's triggered attack or not, but I feel like that's not triggered attack. So, that's good. And I'm not gonna get a shield too bad. Alright, let's get a leg upgrade if possible. I think we're ready to move out. Let's see, I think this is, um, there's an enemy base here. And, you know, I should probably save too, right? This is not KMC. What, what you doing, GK? This is Forsaken. And, yeah, just ignore that Prominence test save file. Prominence has been put on hold for, definitely, for the time being. Feels Batman. 
Okay, we're gonna need another pylon here. Possible. Kill the egg here. And this is a base we can take. Okay, good. This is a very choked spot here. Which is fine, I guess. But... Yeah, look at the... It's kind of... Making it hard to move out here. Actually, upgrading Greater Squire, we don't want that happening, so. I will dispose of that Greater Squire here. In a sec. And we can take this base to ourselves. I heard an Ultra, so that's not good. Okay, so we are limited to level 1 upgrades overall. Snake speed done? Yeah, it is done. Like, yeah, so we want that orange base ASAP. Well, hopefully I don't get attacked while this is happening. So what's our objective? Find passage. So we don't really need to destroy orange or the zerg in, in fact but I'll still do it That's a lot of hydras. Ugh, okay. Let's get a shield again. Might get another shield battery. I need to really take this area so I can expand. Yeah, I'm rushing a little bit too much here, so I will wait. And I will check out what the Stargate gives us. But in the in the meantime I will continue assaulting orange. I'm actually just glad I got rid of that uh greater spire though. That would have been disastrous. And I have to just work with two gateways for the time being because Yeah, look at look at the amount of minerals you have. So something I have to just work with. Maybe I should wait for the level one armor upgrade. And actually Reaver would have been good against the mass hydralis oranges deploying against me. But again, that's a hefty investment because I also have to get a support bay and then Build more, which costs additional 200, and then build scarabs, which costs more minerals. Yada yada yada. Should probably explore here though. Yeah, we'll do that. Make more zealots to tank the front line here. Zealots are kind of just. Okay, good. Yeah, Zeratu is really strong. The StarCraft 2 um, variant is also really strong because he can like blink and has some kind of like Warcraft 3 ish spells or skill, whatever you want to call it. But I prefer this Zeratu. The only thing I really didn't like about. Oh, there's a. I can expand there. The only thing I didn't really like about Zeratu. 
in StarCraft 2 was his, he had too much HP and less shield point. I feel like that's one of the selling points of Zero 2 in StarCraft, at least in StarCraft 1, because he has like, his HP is like that of a normal unit, you know, 60, 60 HP, but his shield is like actually crazy. You know? Let's kill the head here. I don't want reinforcements coming out. And it's high prime time, I guess. The space here. So yeah, this place is done. Very good. Make sure to micro zero two properly so you can actually focus down the enemy hydra. And I will expand here in a sec. Maybe leave two dragoons behind and a zealot. Man here. I'll actually put a pile on there and put a defense. It's good. Pretty good. It's time to save. Okay, let's dispatch that. This all is keeping the tab out there. Shield upgrade or shield recharge shield by moving all the way back over there. Let's get full time cannon somewhere. Yeah, this odd uh, cannon should cover this area. Yeah, I'm gonna start moving my probes. I can expand here. I didn't know I should have. This is the reason why you should be exploring the map in the early game. Because if I knew there's a batch of mineral fields here, I would have expanded like quickly. And then, of course, it would have been easier to take this space here, that orange occupied. But yeah, in the meantime, um, I want to get Stargate. I'm not going to bother with this. I'll leave the zealot still because because Brown is actually scaring me. Okay, let's go attack. There's an infested turn. Which I don't know if that was worth it. <laughs> yeah, that that I don't think that was worth it. How many eggs are there? Right, let's wait a bit. Spring reinforcements. Go Stargate. Hopefully. That guy's stuff, that's good for me, I guess. Alright, I'm gonna bring Zero 2 back. Over. 
Alright, looks good. Try to save my buddy here. Alright, let's get more stuff. Build a Stargate. Have to take care of this. And that should be the end of launch here. Good. Padding problems. Scout. Yes, I expected this. Their Kai has a lot of hit points. Well, very unusual map layout for an AI. Mineral field only expand here. Or base rather, and then gas here. Kind of tight though, but it's fine, I guess. Uh, I'll just build a little scout for fun. Alright, is that the end of the map? Executor, I sense a strange energy, simil similar to my own calling from within this hole. Alas, it being unknown to us, what will we see from in here? I feel that we must push through. You what? Surely you just thought one. I highly doubt the measures that we should be taking this moment is plunging ourselves into some queer hole. Okay? If the returning Zerg are truly as close to inbound as you said, I doubt we have any real choice in the matter. Executor, ready our warriors, and be at stake for what is lying within. No, oh, that, that's it, huh? I kind of wanted to explore more of the map, but... Well, I guess I'll just check out in the map editor. So this map could have been finished if I literally just bring zero to here. Well, with the exception of that one in first turn, you can actually speed run this. Then, interesting. You know, I'm feeling uh another map here. I'm gonna I'm gonna actually record the next one. That'll be it for this one. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.